All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and I do photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is the ability to take an object and scan it into a still file. I can do very complex items. I can do really small items, and everywhere between that. Um, I'm limited to about one inch to 12 inches cube, so it has to fit on this platter. Until I do a lot of these jobs, and I can. Uh, grow the technology a little bit more. So I have my own rig. I have my own technology that I use to do this. Um, I do uh, programming with uh, microcontrollers. So I've made my own device that allows it to be rotated at a certain degree at a very fine increment and take photos using a camera. So what, when you see some of the pieces you're going to see a lot of detail. This is for 3D print, however, it's not for texture. So you'll probably only be getting the high res 3D model with no texture on it. The reason for that is some of the objects that might be sent are metal, and metal objects reflect. And you have to coat them with a special powder in order for it to not to reflect. The powder does come off, it's pretty non-destructive, but know that you should probably not send me an original if you can. Send me some kind of copy or send me uh, something that, you know, like, it's, it's not going to be hurt by a powder, but I don't think that's ever going to happen with metal. Now if it's a skull, if it's bones, if it's clay, I'll give you some examples of those. If it's a skull, usually skulls are bleached. So I have to dye them using a walnut stain in order for the technology to work correctly. You can see they look out, they look really good when they get done, but just know that if you have a skull that doesn't look weathered like this, I will have to make it look weathered in order for it to scan correctly with a lot of detail. Okay. If it is something like clay, let's say you're a sculptor that works in Sculpty, and you wanted to take this and made, make a lot of copies of it, you can do that. You, I can make you the still file and you can have it printed anywhere using uh, any print technology you want. I would highly suggest resin printing myself. Okay. So when you send me something like this, I would prefer it to be primed and I can wash it with a very thin wash that brings out the details of it. The more details that are apparent on it, the higher the detail. If you're into jewelry, let's say you had jewelry and you wanted to make copies of it, like this piece right here, I could simply scan it. All the cleanup is handled by me. If you order, there's three different packages available. There's one where I just scan it and give it back to you, uh, and then you're responsible for the cleanup. There's a package where I scan it and clean it up. So I would, I would remove all these little uh, things right here. Let's say I had to mount it like this using hot milk glue. This stuff does come off, but in the file, I would be responsible for cleaning this up so that these all blend together and you wouldn't see any of these. And then there is another package that allows you to get it scanned, cleaned, and scaled correctly so that if you did get it printed by a, another person, you wouldn't have to worry about what size it was. I would work with you to find out what size, measurements, and uh, specs that you wanted for the file. I would also supply uh, one half in or a half ratio dummy. So basically, I wouldn't be able to print this big, but I would print you a small variation of it uh, in order for you to have the prototype. All right, so that is the service I'm providing. If you're very interested in it, um, there's a link to the Fiverr, and this video will be in the Fiverr. And uh, please reach out, contact me, 
uh, if you can, through Fiverr to ask any questions you might have ahead of time before you go to sign up for the service. It takes, um, if you were to send me something, it then takes a week, sometimes a week and a half, in order to scan it and compute it and then have it turned around and then sent back. After So it would take a week after I get it and then after I'm done with that week, then I would send it back out. If it takes a little longer, I'll let you know, but most cases what you're gonna see on this Fiverr is that I have it set for 20 days. That doesn't mean it takes 20 days. That means that I know by the time I get it, get it scanned, get it back, um, I will have a little bit of room there in order to produce a really good quality product for you. So it might only take 10 days, but uh, depending on how complex the item is. All right, so I think that's it. You have a good one, and thank you for browsing my service.